All right, so finally here at the Retreat Rally with John and Fran, who have not only gone around Australia in the ERV caravan, but they finally made it to the Retreat Caravans Rally. Guys, this is the first rally for you. How does it feel seeing all these Retreat Caravans around? And how have the questions been from our customers about this new technology? Great. Absolutely, absolutely great. great, yeah. People yeah. have been absolutely welcoming yep. for us, and because it's a new thing for us, and so many people have come to talk and chat uh, about where we've been and what we're doing and how we're running. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what makes this caravan? Well, what, what makes it is, is that basically it's a battery more than anything. Um, this technology we've been using for 37 years on the farm, so we know it inside out and back to front. Not necessarily lithium, lithium in the later years, but it's been lead, lead acid, activated glass mat, uh, gel cells, all sorts of things. We generated power from turbines, etc., etc. So we know a fair bit about the whole system. Yeah. It's Andrew and myself. Oh, Andrew is really switched on. He's always said we should put it into a caravan. Hence, that's what's been done. Mm -hmm. So we know it's worked for 37 years. And how big is the battery, John? It's a 16 kilowatt hour, but it's actually 14.2 kilowatts. It's been derated mainly to what it does actually give you a longer life out of the battery. How many batteries does that sort of come to? Well, if we basi basically, if we were to put the same sort of power and lead acid batteries in this van, you'd be, you'd be lucky to fit, fit them all on the floor, let alone the van to be able to carry them. It gives you an idea. And the size of this battery as far as, um, what, same length size, or width? Virtually or? the same size as your normal uh, 80, 90 litre water tank. Water tank, and it's mounted under the van? Under the van, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Very stable, very secure, waterproof, dustproof. It's gone yep. through rivers. Works on Works wheels. on rough roads, river crossings, dust, high temperatures, low temperatures, the whole lot. Okay. Now, obviously, the, the battery itself is powered by solar, and yep. I had a squeeze up the top there, and I couldn't find any white of the roof on there. It's full with solar panels. Pretty, pretty well, How yeah. many you got on this van? It's it's actually 1565. It's capable of holding 2,000. Um, What's that is? 2,000, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, and we've survived quite comfortably on 1650 watts. Yeah, I was, tr I was uh, actually tracking your journey, and I think the lowest you got to before you had to use a generator was, was it about 30% of battery yeah, life? 37.5. Like, it, it'll look after itself. It'll get down to a certain point, and it'll let you know. It'll okay. let you know without, it won't just shut down. If it did shut down, and especially at night, it leaves all your lighting running. All right, so let me get this straight. As I saw before, you've got your convention oven, you've got your espresso machine, you've got your hair dryer back there, your slow cooker, as well as the muffin maker. And it doesn't matter where you are. So you could be no. in the middle of nowhere mm. and you can use your espresso machine. Yes. Or anything. you can you can bake some muffins on that. Yep. Yeah. At so, the same time and while the air conditioner's going. And gotcha. People, yeah. uh, and you're not plugged into power. No power whatsoever. It's yeah. amazing. It, it is, it yeah. is amazing. People don't believe it. And the amount of people that have walked over to me when we've been parked on beaches or in the, out in the gold fields and have said how come your air conditioner's running? How, 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 is that, how are you running yeah, your air conditioner? Yeah, like, yeah. is it your air conditioner for a yeah. start that we can hear? And how come it's been running two days or three days or whatever? Now, the blinding flash of the obvious is there's no gas bottles on the front. No gas whatsoever. No. So everything no. in this caravan is either 12 volt or 240 volt. Exactly. Yep. Usable. Yep. No and you're comparison. cooking on an induction cooktop, so yes. not, a, not a gas hot plate? Well, because we don't have gas, yep. induction heats quick and cools quick. Yep. So basically it's the replacement for the gas. And you mentioned heating and cooling. On a different sort of uh, level, the construction of this caravan has been made with fully composite material. Yes. Not only a first for AusX, of course, but a first for retreat. Yeah. So how have you guys gone in your trip with the, either the really hot weather or the cold weather? Because I noticed you don't have an awning either. No, no. Our biggest problem has been we've gone into caravan parks where we've had to go into caravan parks but meet up with other people. Our request is a fully uh, unpowered site. Yeah. And everyone says, oh, everywhere we've been, it's been, that's a, that's a strange request. We haven't heard that one before. People want shade. They pride themselves They pride themselves on the shade. And of course, we're, we're having trouble finding a fully sunny spot. And I know you guys have been very busy documenting all of the power usage yep. and consumption. Yes. 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 So um, all of those statistics are going to be made available for all of the Retreat and AusX yeah. followers yeah. Yes. on Facebook and on yep. the website. Well, guys, it was really good catching up with you guys. And I really can't wait to see what Retreat's going to bring out next with all the AusX technology. Mm. Yeah, it's it, got, it'll uh, be fantastic. It is. No doubt. So I'll tell you what we can't go without trying, and that's those muffins. So, Fran, looks like you've been working hard to put them out for us. How's about I go Absolutely. work hard and bring them to you? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, they look good. On a day like this outside, you just want to be surrounded with some beautiful food and some beautiful company. Guys, I think we've got the trifecta. 
perfect caravan, great company and great weather. Thank you. <laughs>